video we're going to cover how to auto generate a renewal opportunity once you've closed another opportunity and uh, you know that's related to the fact that often companies that have subscriptions or annual contracts that are likely to renew uh, are interested in using uh, kind of auto generating another space or a reminder that uh, you know, come a year from now or some predetermined time from now, we're going to need to engage with this company again and ensure that they're going to renew for another year, or provide us revenue in that sense. So definitely an important aspect of the business model and an easy thing to automate in Salesforce so that uh, you can you know, preset those reminders and ensure that your process each year is uh, in scope and a closed loop so that nothing falls through the cracks. We're going to do that in Process Builder. I had to set up, and as per usual, go over to our Quick Find box. Sorry, my trial account is hiding our Quick Find here, but it's no matter. You'll go to Process Builder, select Process Builder, and you'll likely see this new process. If you have existing processes, they'll be in there as well. Definitely recommend for this, if you haven't done Process Builder before, to um, kind of freshen up in the link in, in my YouTube video here for the trailhead on an introduction to Process Builder. But for this, we're going to do Renewal Opportunity. It's going to auto-generate our API name. So description here is useful. You definitely want to remind people what processes are for. This is going to generate a renewal opportunity, actually. Opportunity. So when an op is closed, one. So we've finished that out. We've decided, yes, we've won that business and want to recognize the revenue. And we also, in this case, are going to use a field we've created called auto renew. It's just a checkbox that returns true or false. So when it's set to yes or true. And so this process is going to start when a record changes. That means like, hey, when you set the stage to closed one, that's a change in your opportunity record. So that is when we want to have this process spark. You can see you could have it a note invoked by another process too, but that's definitely a more complex uh, video for another day. So this brings us to our flow builder. It's very you know, visually easy to understand. And of course, we're going to start right under the prompt and add our object. What we're working with today is the opportunity object. So right in here we can type opportunity, select it. So then you get to choose when to start the process. We're going to choose when a record is created or edited. So if a record was created in closed one, like that might be of interest, but really what we want is an edit. And one thing to know is there is recursion here, you don't want to check this box yes because it will evaluate the um, record a number of times in one go. So just make sure it's left unchecked. So that's our selection. Now we're going to add criteria. The criteria for us is closed one. And our auto renew set to yes. And we're going to do that when the conditions are met. Here's where we choose fields. Refer back to your opportunity record for the fields that are available. They'll also show up in this list. But for us, those fields are for stage. And we're going to add for auto renew. Great. And so here's where you choose your operator. So auto opportunity stage name is going to equal to close one. And then our auto renew, we want it to be true. Yes, I've been referring to it as. So all of these conditions are met is what we want. We don't want it either or. And then our advanced here is very important. We want to execute these actions only when specified changes are made to the record, which means only if the pick list or the auto renew is changed will we then want to reevaluate this. Because like, you know, when opportunity closes and you go back and edit the name or edit the amount or change anything else. You don't want this to reevaluate because if it does reevaluate and finds that it is closed one and true still, then in theory you'd create another renewal opportunity. So you want to make sure that this is clicked yes for sure uh, to ensure that the process is nice and tight.
So then the final uh, question after we evaluated whether this should happen is to create our action. Now this is the more involved part. We're going to create a record. I'm going to call this uh, Renewal Opportunity. Creation. We're going to find the record type. Go with Opportunity. And there's a few in here. Um, close date. That's going to be important. So for the close date, we're going to want to use a formula here because what we're really looking for is uh, the ability to close it. And we're setting the values of this new opportunity that's getting created. So we're not talking about the opportunity that's closing at this point. It's closed. We've evaluated it. Now we're starting our action, which is to create the new opportunity. So that close date is going to be a formula field. And when we build this formula, what we're really doing is our close date on our opportunity plus 365 days. In this case, it's a one-year renewal. If you have a renewal that's six months, you'd cut that in half. So now what we want is our opportunity um, close date. And then this is just like you know, kind of basic little editor. We'll tell you if there's any syntax errors, but just follow along. Use the formula. And then the name, again, name's a string value, so it's just you know a set of characters. We also want a formula here. And this is because well, what do you want to name your renewal opportunity? You can think about this for a few seconds, but for me, I want to name the opportunity the same as the opportunity name that we had. So, oh, sorry, it's just name here. And so every one of these fields that we're selecting does relate to the parent object, the opportunity that we've closed now. So this opportunity name is pulling from the closed off over here. So choose that, and we don't want the opportunity name. And this is going to be a concatenate function. You can look into this uh, online, but concatenate just means it's going to use the string and say we want the opportunity name, the original one, and we're going to do a space, a dash, and renewal. And we put the quotes around it because that's a string. So once I've done that, that just means when I'm an opportunity, say it's uh, you know closed, say it's like a you know, implementation services. So this would then create an opportunity called implementation services dash renewal. We use that formula. The stage for this new opportunity we're creating is just going to be in stage one. In my case, this is called qualification. Forecast category, I don't care about this one at this point. You can choose. You're allowed any number of fields. You could set up all the fields for the opportunity if you'd like. And so the last one for me and the most important piece is you definitely need to make sure that the opportunity account ID is equal to the same ID as the opportunity that you closed. So it gets attached to the same account. And so we're going to do that with what's called a field reference. So it's referencing a field from within the, you know, this parent object over here. And so we're going to find that field. We select account ID. Great. There's a few different types of IDs, but the account ID is just, again, the one we want. So great. That's set. We'll click Save. And boom. That's done. We want to activate. Go ahead and activate the opportunity, or sorry, the process. Now it's ready to rock. What we'll do is go back to our S Force production package, which is what we're selling here. We want to make sure that we check down and make sure our auto renew button is checked. If your business doesn't want to auto renew, unchecking that is a good process or governance to have. We're going to close it. Select the stage, close one, save. Boom, that stage is selected. Now I'll go to my opportunities. And wow, there we go. A new opportunity has been created in the qualification stage with the name renewal. And it's set to, today is February 9th, the day I'm doing this video. It's set to a year from now on year 2019. We're in 2018 here. So, awesome. Uh, this is a very easy process to invoke. One quick disclaimer I would say just before you do it, if you are familiar and uh, if you have sensitive data within your org, I recommend doing all processes within a sandbox. 
If you haven't learned much about sandboxes, you should definitely uh, go and uh, search for Trailhead there. They're very easy to set up, but they allow you to run these processes and test them because if you put a bad process into place in the middle of your org, then it could create a bunch of bad data or interrupt your day-to-day -day service, and you don't want your business to do that. So please, please follow the instructions in the video and don't stray from them or don't change them too much if you don't want to run into any trouble. And more importantly, do it in a sandbox first. Thanks and have a great day.